Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Asa and I'm really excited because it's new tool day. This is my Prusa Mark IV kit. I finally got this after months of waiting, so I'm really excited to unbox and build this 3D printer. I'll do some test prints and I'll give you a review. If you like this type of video, please consider subscribing. I make content on building, making, and crafting. Now let's get to unboxing and build this. It starts with unboxing and packaging. Prusa's packaging is excellent. I really can't overemphasize how good it is. I'm fully confident I could drop this box from five or six feet and the parts would be fine. Everything is extremely well labeled. For example, each baggie of screws will tell you how many spares are included so you can quickly tell if you've done something wrong, if you run out or if you have too many left over. I've assembled one Prusa Mark III S Plus, I've assembled two of the enclosures, and I really like Prusa's instructions. They're excellent. The online instructions also have a lot of helpful comments from people that are built right into the instructions, so you can get some help if something isn't clear. From start to finish, the build took me about eight hours. That was from opening the box to doing my first prints. It was around seven hours to build, and maybe another hour or half an hour to do the initial calibration and setup. And the printer really worked flawlessly. I was really impressed by the promised always perfect first layer. My first test print came out in 20 minutes and it was excellent, really high quality. I'm really pleased with the printer. So far I'm really impressed, so I kicked off a full weekend of test prints to fill orders on my Etsy store. I'll go over this in the review a little bit. Other than the excellent first layer, I was really impressed by the speed. The input shaping is fantastic. My models are printing twice as fast or even faster than on my Mark III S Plus, though your mileage may vary. It really depends on the model, how much improvement you can get from input shaping. Well, after some test prints, I'm really pleased with my Mark IV. There are some things I don't like about it, and I'll go over those, but if you're in the market for a printer and you're thinking about a Mark IV, I recommend you pull the trigger and get it. So far, I'm impressed and I'm happy with my purchase. On a side note though, if you're already familiar with 3D printing, I really recommend thinking about a used Mark III S Plus. There's a lot available on Facebook Marketplace around me and I've bought four used ones and I've had great success with all of them so far. There's some really good bargains out there, especially as people are upgrading to a Bamboo Labs P1S or a Mark IV. I've seen cheap Mark III S Pluses all over the place. Though I only recommend buying a used Mark III S Plus if you already know a bit about 3D printing or if you're familiar with Prusa's, they'll probably require some maintenance if you're getting them secondhand. So, back to the Mark IV. I'll start with a few things I don't like about it. The top two issues for me are price and long shipping times. This printer is expensive. The assembled version of the printer is over $1,000 US at the moment. The unassembled kit, you save a little bit of money, but at the same price point, you can get a Bamboo Labs P1S that includes an enclosure so you can print materials like ASA and ABS, and you can get their AMS multi-material unit. I can definitely see if someone's trying to decide between a Mark IV and a P1S, that's a pretty compelling argument to go with a P1S. I went with the Mark IV for a couple of reasons. I run a small print farm of Mark III S Pluses, so I'm familiar with Prusa hardware. I have something like a year and a half of total printing time on the printers that I have, so I'm pretty confident in the Mark IV's reliability, and I'm confident in my ability to repair and maintain it. But I recognize I'm definitely paying a premium for Prusa, and at some point I'll probably try out one of the Bamboo Labs products. My other big gripe is shipping time. It took months to receive this after ordering it, Prusa just can't seem to get 
their logistics and supply chain under control. And this has been plaguing them for years. When I bought a Prusa enclosure last year, I waited months for that. When I bought my Mark IV, I waited months for it. Clearly Prusa needs more investment in supply chain, logistics, and their production so they can get their printers out the door faster. The third thing I don't like about the Mark IV is it's not compatible with Octoprint, which I use to run all of my Prusa Mark III's. I use Octoprint to monitor my jobs, send print jobs to the printers. What I'll do at some point is move my entire print farm over to Prusa Link and Prusa Connect. These are Prusa design software to monitor and manage your print farm, either within your Wi-Fi network or fully remote. It just means I have to do a little bit of work to migrate everything over to a new system, and I haven't gotten around to that yet. The final thing I don't like about the Mark IV, and this is kind of a repeat of the price, is that at this price point, it really should come with an enclosure. I'd like to be able to stack things on top of this and print advanced materials right out of the box, but now I'll have to buy another Prusa enclosure or build my own enclosure for it. I've read lots of flack online with people having some other common issues with their Mark IVs. There were some buzzing noises that I think had to do with a batch of faulty hardware, and people have complained about the very slow Wi-Fi speeds. I haven't had these issues, my hardware seems to be perfect out of the box, and I didn't notice a particularly long time when sending G-code via Wi-Fi. Now, on to the positives. First, I really like the new filament guide. It's minor, but I appreciate that one, it's backwards compatible with the Mark III, so I can print some of these for my existing printers. It's a nice touch to keep the filament from kinking, especially when the extruder moves all the way up in the Z-axis. The most impactful thing for me is speed. I've tested a bunch of models from my Etsy store, and the Mark IV is twice as fast or faster than my Mark III S Pluses. This is great, and I'm really happy with the input shaper firmware that's accomplishing this. After speed, I like the claim of an always perfect first layer. It seems great so far on the Mark IV. That being said, I typically have very good success with first layer on my Mark III S Pluses. As long as I have a clean print bed, I have a good first layer calibration, I don't typically have issues with my first layer. Knock on wood. The new interface and LCD screen is nice, although this isn't so important to me because I do almost all of my printing over Wi-Fi using Octoprint, and like I said, I'll have to switch to Prusa Link and Prusa Connect to manage my Mark IV. The quality of the Mark IV prints is excellent, although I haven't noticed much of a difference compared to my Prusa Mark III S Pluses. If you want me to do a quality comparison video, let me know in the comments. So in summary, I've spent the weekend pumping out prints on my Mark IV for my Etsy store. It's done great. It's shaved significant amounts of time off of printing, and I'm really pleased with it. And like I said, if you're on the fence about buying one, I highly recommend it. Though, like I said, I do intend to try out some of the Bamboo products at some point. Well, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you want more content on building, making, and crafting. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.